YouTube, what's going on? KT Medic here, and today we have the weekly vlog. It's kind of going to be a Black Ops 3 update video with the new patch coming out yesterday. So here's some information about that patch, some good news, maybe some bad news for some people. But they did say that this is going to be the last hotfix, supposedly, until the next update comes along. That everybody has to do so let's get into it all right guys first of all if you want to see how you're doing against your friends against everybody else that's playing black ops 3 you now have that option with the leaderboard in the barracks menu some people have had issues getting that to come up we'll see how it works but go to your barracks there should be leaderboards in there with the new update players are now awarded crypto keys in arena in public matches after playing consecutive matches in the same playlist. So if you're playing Team Deathmatch, Search and Destroy, whatever, if you play consecutive matches, you'll start earning crypto keys. It's definitely an awesome thing. Get more crypto keys, get to open more supply drops, and good news for everybody. Unless you don't like to play the same game mode for a while. I, I don't know why you wouldn't. You usually play the game modes that you like to play, and that's how it goes. I'm excited about that. I hope you are too. I'm talking about Search and Destroy. The kill elimination XP has changed from 250 XP to 500 XP, back to what it used to be in other Call of Duties. This is not your score per kill that goes towards your score streaks. This is just XP, so you get 500 XP for eliminating somebody. Now, another thing, if you want to rank up fast and you're pretty good at killing people in the game, play Search and Destroy because you get 500 XP per kill. If you go and get four or five kills even, that's a lot of XP. Okay, guys, check out Search and Destroy. Get good at it. Eliminate a lot of players and you will rank up super fast. All right, moving on to the specialist Specialist weapons have been tweaked the abilities have kind of been tweaked now They charge at a reduced rate in objective game modes. So like your capture the flag Domination stuff like that where I think it's because you're earning more points They don't want you to get your specialist ability or weapon as many times as people are or were before this patch so that's changed just a little bit not a whole lot also the scythe or the sith however you want to say it has had its ammo reduced from 200 to 160 now this is a pretty big change 40 rounds less in the magazine that gun goes through rounds really really fast so be careful if you're using that weapon don't go through all your ammo trying to shoot a couple people Make sure that you remember you only have 160 now, not 200. On the topic of weapons now, HVK-30 has increased ability to control recoil, so basically it's going to have a little less recoil, you can control it better, which is going to be crazy that gun is going to be a laser beam because it's really not that bad now. It kind of has a circular pattern, maybe a figure eight. I haven't really tested that, so don't hold me to it. But it's not that bad. It's a little bit random, but definitely controllable. You can hold it to mostly center mass, and it's not bad. The M8A7 has had a fire rate increase. You're going to get kills so much faster, and I'm going to go through magazines way faster because for some reason I, I have difficulty using that gun in Black Ops 3. Maybe it's the four round burst. I don't know, but it's an awesome gun. If you haven't used it, check it out. Even if you go into a custom match, just to check it out. Awesome gun. I am going to play with it a lot more. Get a little better with it. Time to kill is super quick. And now that they've increased the, the rate of fire, it's going to be even crazier. On to light machine guns. The BRM and the Gorgon. ADS a little bit slower. So you're going to aim down your sights a little bit slower. It's going to be like you have a heavy weapon in your, in your hand. The 48 dredge. <clears throat> They've slightly increased the ADS time just to match it to the other light machine guns. 
they have reduced the magazine size in the Gorgon from 50 to 40. So if you're playing with that weapon, make sure you keep that in mind, 10 less rounds. They're changing a lot of stuff, but they're not real big changes, so some of them are a little bit harder to catch. The Gorgon also has increased recoil and increased hip fire spread. So you're not going to be able to hit fire as well, and you're not going to be able to hold on target quite as well. You're going to have to practice. And Thermite. I hate Thermite. I did. Now it's not quite as bad. They've reduced the damage rate, so now you're not going to die as quick with the Thermite Grenade. That grenade has killed me so many times in Domination and stuff like that. They'll just throw it on the flag, and if you're trying to cap it, you're gone. It's super quick. It blows up and you die. Now you'll have a little bit more time and you can kind of jump out of it and not burn to death. Which is exciting because that one, man, that one was... That one was getting me every time. Almost every time. If they threw it behind you and you didn't know it was there, you could walk into it and you would die. It's... Thermite's a, a pretty nasty little grenade. And on to Arena. If you haven't tried Arena, if you like competitive, go try Arena. They have Pro League, they have all the Bannon Protects, everything like that. The other one, just like League Play in the other Call of Duties, you just get to play 4 on 4, competitive game modes, maps, lots of fun if you like competitive. If you don't, don't play, don't quit out of matches early guys, come on. I talked about this in a video before just just play through it I mean if you're losing you're losing but you I mean it's not over till it's over we've come back from terrible terrible scores and come back in one so you never know until it's actually over all right okay I'm hopping off my soapbox and we're getting on to some great news double XP till Monday November 23rd all weekend get on there grind it out get some double XP Go play Search and Destroy, you're going to be getting 1,000 XP per kill. Okay? 1,000 XP. If you do your gun challenges, tons of XP. Ranking up fast, this weekend's the weekend to do it, guys. Do your challenges, play Search and Destroy if you can get kills, and the XP just explodes, and you're just going to go through the ranks. Easy. If even a couple, couple ranks a game. All right? So I hope you like this video. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe. As always, I'm KT Medic, and I'm out.